Hello travelers, welcome back to this channel. We spend our time researching unusual facts about various cities. Today we have an exciting video in store about New York, known as the city that never sleeps, like that screaming newborn next to you on the plane. Instead of just going to all the touristy places like the hoi polloi of travelers, here are some unusual facts that might inspire you to make your travel itinerary more unusual. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. And remember, Images and clips in this video are for illustrative purposes and may not actually represent the actual destinations. Always do your own due diligence before planning a visit. New York is the largest city in the United States by population, home to iconic landmarks such as the Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, Central Park, Times Square, and Broadway. The city is divided into five boroughs, namely Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, the Bronx, and Staten Island. It is one of the biggest global financial centers and is known for its Broadway theaters. Here are a few things you might not know about New York. Number one, secret subway station, abandoned city hall station. Do you know there is a secret subway station in New York City? The city hall station was the original southern terminus of the first New York City subway line, which opened on October 27, 1904. It is often difficult to get beyond the impression that the subways in New York are designed to look dirty and disgusting on the inside so that people are less shocked by the germ-filled, rat-ridden streets on the outside. But the abandoned City Hall station may just be an exception. The station is known for its architectural beauty, featuring Guastavino tiles, whatever that means, and brass chandeliers. The station is hidden and is not normally open to the public. However, a bit of Ask Jeevesing may lead to the conclusion that there are tours available to visit this historical site. So if you want to set yourself apart from the hoi polloi of travelers, who may not even know why there is a crack in the Liberty Bell. It might be worth witnessing the architectural features of this abandoned city hall. Number two, the weird looking black cube, Astor Place Cube in the East Village. The Alamo, or the Astor Place Cube according to Wikipedia, is a sculpture created by artist Tony Rosenthal. First installed by 1967, the sculpture is made of weathering steel and weighs approximately 1800 pounds, a bit like me after having Kung Pao chicken for dinner. I guess chicken does come home to roost on that one. Apparently, the cube can be rotated and has been described as a symbol of the ever-changing nature of the city. One could be forgiven for thinking people who express such sentiments are just a bunch of tree-hugging, quinoa-eating, yogurt-knitting hippies who might even wave back at Teletubbies. Boy, are they everywhere these days. But hey, if you like what you see, perhaps pay the cube a visit. I am sure there are worse places in New York. Number three, the Whispering Gallery at Grand Central Station. With its special acoustic properties, the main concourse in the Grand Central Terminal is one special place to visit while you are in New York. If you stand at one end of the arch and say something, someone can hear you at the distanced opposite end. Getting there is easy, I guess you probably only need to search for Grand Central Terminal. But what is challenging is testing out the acoustic phenomenon, because you will need to have friends. Nevertheless, the Whispering Gallery is open to all, perfect for exploring the city on a budget. They do say the best things in life are free. Number four, abandoned smallpox hospital on Roosevelt Island. Do you know there is an abandoned smallpox hospital in New York on Roosevelt Island? I didn't. Just when one thinks New York could not be more disturbing, it comes up with new ways to surprise you. The smallpox hospital used to be a quarantine facility for people with smallpox, which was a highly contagious and deadly disease, much like having a low IQ, a problem a lot of my friends might be battling with. The hospital is known for its unique architecture, like its pointed arches and castle-like vibe. The hospital has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places since 1972. Standing in front of this old historical building might be a good way to feel younger about oneself. Number four, narrowest house, 75 One Helve Bedford Street. Think you live in a small house? The narrowest house in New York might make you feel better about yourself. Often described as the narrowest house in New York City, the house is only 9.5 feet wide. Many famous people have lived in this very house, such as the poet Edna St. Vincent Millay and the Pulitzer Prize-winning playwright Arthur Miller. I don't really know these people, so you can say they might not be famous enough. Careful though, this place could be a private residence, so do your research before you visit it. Number six, the Trash Museum. The Trash Museum, or the NYC Department of Sanitation Garage and Salt Shed, is located in Hudson Square, Manhattan. I cannot imagine what New York City would look like without this NYC Department of Sanitation thing, given how NYC is already perfectly dirty and disgusting as it is. Just my two cents. 
The facility is known for its innovative design which also serves a practical purpose, such as allowing for salt storage. The facility does offer educational exhibits, so you can learn more about the history of sanitation in the city, as well as how New York City manages waste and all the sustainability stuff, which I will spare you with today lest it bores you into a coma. Do check with the NYC Department of Sanitation's official website before planning a visit. Number 7. A Museum With a quirky name like this, one may be able to hazard a guess as to what this place is for. A Museum has the same pronunciation as a museum, just spelt with an extra M as, and is a quirky museum that features contemporary everyday objects in an unusual light to reflect modern society. The museum is relatively small, and it challenges the conventions of what a museum should be about. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so I will leave it to you to explore the museum, but make sure you check out its official website for more relevant information. So there you have it. Seven unusual facts about New York City that you may not know. The video is meant for general information, and always do your own research before planning a visit. I hope you have enjoyed the video, and remember to subscribe if you want to learn more about the unusual facts of other cities. Bye for now.